McMahon's status report. McMahon, do you copy? Boardman, is the long range comms repair complete? Boardman, McMahon, do you copy? Come in. Come in. McMahon, James, shoot environmental integrity at 8%. Why can't we hear them? John Hall Day, 518. It was once said that those suffering from the incapacity to love are living in hell. I often wonder if Dostoevsky wanted to say more, because what I know of hell isn't simply a place where love doesn't exist, nor is it a place you go when you die. Hell is here, in this facility, in the body and in the mind. Hell is a battle you know you will one day lose. It's waking up every morning with a very real threat that it could be your last. It's watching other human beings starve, while those with the means ignore them. It's placing the hope for humanity on artificial intelligence. It's having a daughter who you don't recognize anymore, and who doesn't recognize you anymore. Hell is what the East inflicted on us two years ago when they pushed the button on day zero. And now, as our food supplies run drastically low, our friends and families forced into punishment details with substandard equipment. Our continued attempts to communicate with other facilities failing, hell is creeping into the collective conscience of those that remain. The reason and rationale is all but depleted. I wish I knew what the future holds, but that would mean believing that there is a future. I don't know how much longer we have left. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Broadman, are you okay? But my got caught in the fog, he's still alive. Save him. It's too late, Broadman. It's too late. Let's just get you to medical. I don't know what your father would make of this. Hmm? You could have saved him. We don't know that. Don't we? Good morning, Eden. This is day zero, minus 364. Pollution and radiation levels remain constant. No other survivors have been located. Stand by for the President's daily announcements. While we continue to work tirelessly to reach other groups of survivors, due to food shortages, every citizen will be on three-quarter rations as of today. Remember, this is for your own safety and well-being. I was out there too long, wasn't I? That's for Dr. McDonald to assess, not me. Boardman late back from punishment detail, Doctor. How long was he exposed? About three minutes. <sighs> Fair amount of time, then. Do you want to get on the bed? Scan How's she getting along? Richard, well, you know her. Never sleeps, never eats. All she does is work. On him. Our last hope. Is it complete? Uh, all the data indicates a successful procedure. Then I'm ready for the outside. Well, you still have to complete the tests. The tests? Surely they're a formality. Not necessarily. All I long for is the world outside, Eve. Isn't that what you made me for? Isn't that where I need to be to fulfill my purpose? Well, the world outside has changed. Now holds many unknowns. Some of which are perhaps distressing. Of course it does. Distress is, after all, the essence of evolution. Which is why I hope for survival lies with you. An objective I'm all too aware of. How's the new thermal skin, Abel? It itches, like woolen clothes. Sensory database being put to good use, I see. It certainly adds another layer. I think I may know why your old skin failed to bind to your exoskeleton, Abel. Organic contamination. Organic matter detected. Biobot purge activated. Too much human DNA in the composite. Biobot purge complete. I must say, the uh, new compound certainly looks more resilient. And the good news is, it'll repel atmospheric pollution. Practicality should always come before vanity, Dr. Smith. Down here it should. Now, what about the combat simulations? Would you like to see what I've learned today? Now, Abel, I'd like you to talk to me about these. I must admit, I'm confused as to why I would need such a skill set. Both the President and the Board requested it. But I can see that you don't agree with them. There's not well seen enough conflict. But you can choose, Eve. You didn't have to upload the data if you did not want to. Perhaps not, but the ability to handle danger is an essential component of being able to survive. This is one battle not worth fighting. I wonder which ones are. Stand by for the president. Citizens of Eden, this is a general announcement. Remember, punishment details are necessary for order. Eden is working for your survival. Dad? Dad? Steve? 
Stephen. Stephen. Who's dead? Citizens of Eden, this is the first. We're commencing a level four shutdown test. This is for your own safety and well-being. Thank you for your cooperation. It's practically every day. Remember, I'm taking the piss. It's working for your survival. Well, time for my shift in the dungeon. Father's over by the rationing station. Hughes lost it earlier. Fuck you, asshole. This is mine. Fuck you. This is you. Enough. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Enough. But I'm not having punishment details handed out left, right, and center. It's the law books. If they. Yes, we are. Huh? Yeah, it's just minor disagreement. Brooks, if they break the rules, then we don't have a choice. You think I like giving out PDs? It's my job to uphold the law and maintain order. Law? You think this is lawfulness? I mean, look around you. What did you see? Did you see humanity or did you see human beings? I am not having this discussion with you again. This is not a discussion. This is our life. This is our reality. Our food rations are getting smaller. Our access to clean water is limited. The people in Civi are sick. They are sick and hungry and tired, tired of all the lies. Well, it's the same for everyone. It's not. We know the kind of luxury the president and his cronies live in. They could do something if they really wanted. Really? What do you suggest? Tell the truth. Tell us what happened to Gilead. Let us go and search for it. <laughs> the survival of the Gilead Citadel is a myth. How can you be certain of that? There might still be people there. There could possibly even be food. Why does the president feel that it's not worth giving us that hope? I can't speak for the president. No, evidently not. Triple detail for Cooper and a single for Hughes. Jesus! What are they I doing don't have a choice, you Hughes. Me? Bollocks! This could have been a piece of shit. This time. Oh, what am I going to do? Hey? Well, hey? well, calm, don't calm, fucking calm twist down, it. Get off calm me. Down, you asshole. You're right. Look, mine didn't make it. And Borden was late back. There was nothing I could do. There's always something that could be done. Like what? He could have said something. He did. There are people's lives he could save. He tries, Dad. I just don't want you to misplace your faith. He's on the other side. Where are you going? I need to get back to Tom's. I was just... Would you like me to continue? <laughs> Absolutely. I could watch this all day. I didn't hear you enter. President Pope is the elected commander-in-chief of this facility. He will come and go as he pleases. And does that privilege extend to his lapdog? My apologies, Doctor. You're quite right. I should have sent word. But I was preoccupied with the situation regarding the communication zone. Speaking of which, what's the prognosis on Broadman? Antitoxin doses. 50-50 chance, sir. Right. And the true prognosis? We'll be dead in a day or two. This, on the other hand, is very impressive. The way he looks, amazing. Is his likeness to Robert intentional? I take it this new skin will make him completely impervious to the atmosphere outside. It's made of the same composite as his jumpsuit. That's a pity he wasn't ready earlier then. Could have avoided McMahon's regrettable demise. Abel will put a stop to such things happening again. He was built to make the right choices, to serve and protect humankind. His combat skills seem very sharp, Dr. Gabriel. How strong is he? As requested, we structured a reactive hypertension in all his nerve endings. It means in the event of danger, he'll be able to respond faster, stronger, better than any human being. Really? Mark three, destroy that weapon. <laughs> Excellent. And his knowledge database? Ask him any question you like. Mark three, when I mention day zero, what do I mean? Would you like the short version or the detailed version, Mr. President? 
Time is of the essence these days. Day zero, Friday, September 12th, 2042 AD, when the Politburo of the Democratic People's Republic of Eastern Autonomous States launched a global chemical strike in response to a Western coalition attempt to implement insurgency amongst the oppressed population of the regime, resulting in the near extinction of mankind. Very good, Doctor. Very good. Mark three. how many functioning lights are there in Eden? 346. Firearms? 97 automatic and semi-automatic rifles. 22 handguns. Women? 47. Military? Three. Presidents? One. Outstanding. Outstanding. Mark three. who is Robert Gabriel? Dr. Robert Gabriel, biorobotics pioneer and creator of the Mark I and Mark II. My predecessors. He is now deceased. Anything else? I don't understand the question, Secretary Ainsley. He was Dr. Eve Gabriel's husband, yes? That is correct. But I still don't understand. Well, surely you can tell me something about him. Uh, what about the way he looked? I'm afraid there are no pictures in my database. No pictures? Well, that's interesting. What are you doing, Ainsley? I'm merely trying to establish his basic abilities to think beyond the rational answer. He's a part of the constraints of the Turing test long ago. Machines have proved their ability to display the illusion of consciousness for years now, Doctor. We wanted a machine with ethical judgment as well. I think I know where Secretary Ainsley is going with this. A hypothetical question for you, Mark III. I prefer Abel. Mark III. You discover a 200 kilogram container full of antibiotics, food, and vitamins in the wastelands. Next to it is a badly injured Dr. Eve Gabriel. This is a And you can only return one of them to Eden. Which one do you choose? I choose Eve. Even though the antibiotics could save countless lives? Yes. Eve is the key to the survival of civilization. <laughs> no, Mark III. You are. What do you mean, two more weeks of fine-tuning? I mean, he's not ready. I know his capabilities, and he was ready for the outside. Dr. Gabriel, that is the president of Eden. Eden needs food, and it needs it now. No one is disputing that. But there's a basic problem with the Mark III's ethical makeup. Your machine is, well, it's too human right now. We built him to spec. Then change the spec. I did, but he's creating his own rules. Think of a game of chess. There are rules, but the rules don't dictate the game. So what are you saying? He's just developed empathy? Like all life forms, his consciousness is evolving. Life form? Dr. Gabriel, we asked for a machine. One that could traverse the ground beyond the range of our details and reach untapped food stores. A machine that understood the basic human needs for survival. A machine with apt moral judgment. And he won't be able to achieve that unless his programming gives him the capacity for self-awareness. Yes, he will. And I advise you to get back to work, Doctor. I don't want a man. I want a machine. And preferably one that doesn't look like your dead husband. Access granted, President Pope. What's wrong? You know, I could have brought him back. Who? McMahon. He would have died anyway. You know, I just wish. You just wish what? There's not much good left here. There is in people like you.
seem distressed. Did I not pass? You did in my eyes. But not in theirs. Eve. Hmm? The decreto written up by the board, two weeks after day zero, states that only five children are permitted to be born in Eden each year. That's right. But there are no children born here before that day. Why? Um, people didn't have time to go and get their children. Only two made it. And they died soon after. We should move her off the project and let Dr. Smith take over. Don't be ridiculous. Smith hasn't half the knowledge. She's uncontrollable. No one is uncontrollable. She'll have them ready in a few days. <clears throat> Personally, I'm concerned we don't have time, James. Insurgency is at our doorstep. It's your paranoia that's at our doorstep. If we don't send the Mark III out to retrieve supplies soon, the civilians and their leaders will cause trouble. They have very little hope left. Precisely. The people of Eden will always obey us as long as they have some hope. Just not enough to galvanize that bravery. You and Robert never had children. No. Why? We were uh, too busy trying to conquer death to think about creating life. Mark one. I see. Create immortality to dispel the need for procreation. Robert believed that there was no greater impulse for humankind than to conquer death. I cannot understand this human obsession with death. Would it not be better to focus on life? I couldn't have children. Something I've had to push to the far reaches of my mind. Do you miss Robert? I used to. And now I have you. Spoke to Cad. He's up for it. What did I say? No, what did I tell you? No. No recruitment drive. What are you saying? You don't control wild animals by asking them nicely. It takes discipline. That's why they need men like us. I traded these beauties. For that old football of mine. Fancy a game? Take the fucking cleaners, Danny. Think about what I said, bro. Stand by for the president. Citizens of Eden, remember lab access is restricted.
than this. He up and comes. Brooks's daughter. Is that other thing you asked for? stand a chance. We need to insist that the military suits are made available for punishment detail. Oh, I'm trying. Ainsley's not letting me get to the president. And that's Frost. At least he has a conscience. Nah, I don't trust him. But at least he can insist that there's a military presence on each detail. A bit of company, see that? Shouldn't you be harassing some poor old lady down in city? You know, one of these days you're gonna. Secretary Ainsley, I need to speak to you now. I'm in comms. You're gonna want to see this. Is that what we can do? No, just leave him. Code blue. Kramer, let's go. Cardiac arrest imminent. Syringe. Subject in cardiac arrest. Kramer, come on! Internal organ failure. Get Dr. Gabriel to the war room immediately. Why did they let him die? They couldn't stop him. Couldn't they? What is it? War room, right away. How does that thing shut down? Can you do it quickly? You go. I'll see to everything here. It's an SOS. From where? We don't know. But we have to investigate it. Lieutenant Frost is the all The magnetic ready. interference from the chemical atmosphere will cause havoc with navigation. Deploying ABLE will enable us to... The Mark up. III is not ready. We've spoken about this. Lieutenant Frost will send a civilian on PD to reconnoiter the coordinates. In the meantime, you will continue working on your creation. I personally Should think that... Should the source of the SOS prove genuine, we will revisit whether or not to deploy the Mark III. It's the best I can do, Doctor. Walt, meet me at the airlock with Cooper. Get him out. This... This looks like Jericho. Metal integrity at 15%. 
Isn't he with you? I'll get his optical feed up. Activating tracking system. Oh my god, how did he get outside? Well, he's not coming back. You don't know that. Don't I, Paul? I wrote that. I don't think I ever told you. No, you didn't. However, you did say you had never worked for them. Well, things change. Yeah, they do. I didn't for a minute think the last days of mankind would look like this. Cooper. Cooper. Nothing. He's gone.
all set, Secretary. Civvies reached boiling point. One more incident, and they'll tip over the edge. It's time to see if Paul Brooks is with us. It may not be a flaw, Eve. Maybe it's in the response moderation code. Or perhaps this is his next natural step. Isn't this what you wanted? For him to develop organically, for his programming to match the emergent qualities in humans? He killed a man. What's more human than that? You must have something. Unfortunately, I can prescribe anti-inflammatories for a headache. All vital signs normal. Minor vitamin D deficiency. What about methadone? On second thoughts, maybe not. I hear it does funny things to you. Where's the Mark III? Break that line, raise your weapon. Stay with the animals, you know! Calm down, calm down and get back! Rushes and we need them now. Right. What are we going to eat today? He's right. They need fresh rations. We okay. can't starve. All right. Open the store. Get him one more set of rations. Yeah! That is the president's call, is it not, Lieutenant? It's my head. It's my call. Do it. Can we get organised here? Can you help? Agreed. Frost, what's going on in Civi? The situation's getting worse. They need more supplies. I just had to issue a fresh ration release. You did what? But the rations were bad. Civi had every right to be upset. Well, boo fucking who for them? An order like that is for the president, not you. But it placated them? For now. This, on the other hand, must not get out. He was threatened. He was rash. He was shot at. And he's shown that he's dangerous to humans. That said, maybe we can turn this into a positive. Can we communicate with it? I disabled his audio feed, but his optical feed is still fully operational. And this is what we'll do. 
We send a detail to retrieve the Mark III. In the meantime, we announce the successful completion of a field test to recover the body of our fallen friend, etc., etc. Miss Stewart as ever, sir. Frost. Take Dr. Smith and one civilian on punishment detail to retrieve the Mark III, then reconnoiter the source of the SOS. I need Dr. Smith with me to help me analyze Abel's behavioral code. Fine. <coughs> Take Dr. McDonald's assistant. I don't care. Well, you gonna draft that announcement or not? Sir. Excuse me. <coughs> Something made him leave, Pope. Maybe he thought this wasn't Eden. Meaning Robert's laboratory. You, you think that Abel thought that this silo what? was actually- What, Babel? It's ridiculous. Babel and Jericho were both destroyed on day zero. It's why we all took refuge here, and he knows that. No. Your machine is on a different mission. What that is, I dread to think. System link up activated. Primary weapon, Stevens King, SK-56. Multiple ammunitions loaded. This is the access code to Morocco. If anything happens, you get to it. What do you mean? Why? Just an insurance policy. Well, I don't want to have to use it. So just make sure you come back. As soon as we're outside, you get back down to Syria and you keep the peace, okay? Don't worry, Lieutenant. We've got Walsh with me. Nothing we can't handle. Chapman Tara, Chief Environmental Integrity Act, 93%. Put yourself down, Syria, I'll be right behind. Environmental Integrity Act, 95%. <laughs> Father wants to see you at the level gate. I'm supervising the sortie. Do as you are told and go now. Just don't touch anything. Don't run the tape. Is Robert's laboratory still out there, Albert? I don't know. Maybe it's time you get yourself to the medical bay. I'll be fine. Frost, it's Brooks. We're at the gates of Eden, Alexa. Be careful, first cloud of pollution is in range. The detail are positioned at the gates, Dr. Gabriel. Just connecting. Visual feed disabled. I don't understand. But we know where he's going. We're sending you the coordinates now, Alexa. He's heading towards the beacon signal. Copy that. Frost, pollution levels are holding for now. Proceed towards target. 
system link up activated. Copy that, Eden. Frost Shane. Environmental biohazard monitoring enabled. Okay, Chapman. Kramer, come on. throughout the complex. Just on level four. What? What is that? Is that Dr. Gabriel's machine? Turn it off, now. Did it kill Cooper? Now. What we need to find this out. This thing right? needs to be held accountable for its actions. Of course, and someone no, is in charge of that. We need to reclaim our humanity. Oh, man, this is not going to solve it. Hughes, go back to your tent and calm down. We are not a lynch mob, all right? That's going to achieve nothing. We need to find out what's going on. Now let me go with Steve and other members of the Conclave. I will insist we speak to the president directly, see what everybody knows. So what do we do, Pope? <sighs> Until then, we are on a peaceful protest. Chapman. I swear I saw it over the dunes. Nobody reports for work. We stay here in Sevy. We don't show our heads. All right? Until I or Stephen, other members of the conference, say so. Jews, come on. Jews, come on, Jews. man. Jews. It could have been, been you, you. Come on, man. Drop the shack. It could have been me out there. He said it was Paul Cooper. I'm not taking it anymore. Jews. I'm fucking running. Somebody stop up. Jews. Jews. Move. Kane, we have a situation. Get to the lab immediately. Frost, Frost come in. Over. Where? Talk to me, Chapman. Where? I'll try and cut him off from this level. Come on, we can sort this! Seal the doors, priority A. Laboratory access is secured. High velocity rounds loaded. Come on, man! Jazz, it's not worth it! Oh, 
Lieutenant. Put the weapon on the side! This will get nothing Do you want to say I was right to fucking go and kill him? I don't want you dead, Lieutenant. You tell that to Cooper. That wasn't meant to be. Okay, okay. Do it! Please! Do it now! Calm down. Mark three. I'm here to retrieve you and take you back to I would advise you to cease your pursuit of me, Lieutenant. I am capable of things I have no control over. Side on this one, Goose. I'm not okay, fucking joking! Now let me not through! Gonna make anything better. Let her go! I said let me through! Hey, don't need her! No, 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 no! For God's sake, man, come on! Hey, take it easy, take it easy! Hey, okay. Come on! Take it easy! Help for the fucking door! Drop shade. Shoot environmental integrity up 84%. Environmental biohazard warning. Fast! Fast! Environmental biohazard warning. Did you see him? No. Did you see where he went? No, I didn't. Environmental biohazard warning. Follow me. Chapman Kara. Shoot environmental integrity. 80%. 79%. Everybody okay? Anyone hurt? Oh my god, Eve! Eve, are you okay? Get it home! Get it home now! Can you hear me? I, I'll take care of her. You all right? Please. What were you thinking? I just... I was trying to help, Dad. What the hell is going on here? Jesus. Kane, downstairs and get Sivy in order. Everybody else out, now. No, no. I need to speak with you. Do you now, Mr. Brooks? We've seen what your machine did to Cooper. This, this is just the beginning. Very well. Officer Walsh will escort you to Civi whilst everyone else gets back to work. I'll join you presently. Nobody is doing anything until you and I have reached an agreement. Fine. Mr. Walsh? 
Please take Mr. Brooks to the war room. This way, Paul. to listen to me. Why is my help? Did I have an accident? Oh, but what is this? The truth about who you really are. I don't understand. What's wrong with me, Albert? <laughs> Eve. Do you remember what it was that Robert felt set his AI creations apart? Identity. That's right. Identity. And how do you create something as complex as identity from the simple materials used in cybertronics? You simulate human experience. You are not Eve Gabriel. You never were. Shut up. You've been programmed to think you're Eve. Shut up, I know who I am. You can see for yourself. Albert, say something. <laughs> You designed this system with your own hands, Eve. System scan activated. Uh, I know you trust it more than anything. Initiating subject system and software scan. Model number Mark II, unit number 00001. Principal memory chip at 100% functionality. Exoskeleton showing damage to right limb extremity. Mobility servos in need of replacement. Understood. Consider it done. Thank you, Kane. Mr. Brooks. The President would like Mr. Brooks to wait for him here. That's nice of him. Anyone want to tell me why? There was an incident in the lab. Yes. Yes, I heard. Well, Mr. Brooks is welcome to stand or sit. You can go, officer. Shame about Cooper. Don't pretend like you care. I do care. I'm really going to miss his rice. Perhaps I should warn you, Secretary Ainsley. One more drop into this pool of resentment and the whole dam could burst. <laughs> I don't think now is the time for pithy comments and quaint metaphors, do you? We're all aware of the dangers you civilians pose. But are you aware just how similar you and I are? I doubt that. You're a man who likes order, as am I. You also like discipline, a virtue I hold as highly as courage. What are you trying to tell me? What would you say if I offered to bring order to Eden through a change of leadership? Change of leadership? 
fantasize it. You see, I believe I can make this a more comfortable place for everybody. A place less obsessed with science experiments and wishful thinking. And more concerned about its people. Now, if I had your backing, I believe I could make that transition seamless. You must be joking. Far from it, Mr. Brooks. Far from it. Ah, I see. Uh, the President wants to address Sibby personally. He's asked me to accompany you back down. Shall we? Get a grip of yourself, Smith. We knew this day would come. No human could have built Abel in the time you did. Not even Robert Gabriel. Well, actually, he almost did. Override, Pope James T. Authorization 5633. Security clearance verified. Place security footage from Eden Laboratory, day zero. Accessing multimedia archive. Robert, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Bristol. I thought you were dead. Rob, nobody's over. The East have launched their chemical weapon. What is it? Listen, you need help. You need medical attention. Oh, the betrayed us. Oh, the betrayed us. The facility is secure. What the hell is he doing? I finished her, Robert. It's a lie. This is you manipulating things again. To what possible end? You're sick. I have memories, feelings. I eat. I bleed. Do you? I can do what I want. I control the violent mind. How would you even know the difference? What you think you know are all memories Robert transcoded from the real Eve to you. What do you mean? Eve was Robert's willing human subject, and he was able to make a map of her neurological response patterns, providing stimuli to anything connected to her past. I know how it's done. In which case, you'll know that it takes a lot of pictures and videos and old news footage to build a carbon copy of someone's neurology. Robert did it. And, and more importantly, he discovered how to predict Eve's reactions to certain situations. All of this, he built into your model, into Mark II. The East knew about Robert and Eve's abilities. A sleeper agent murdered her and fatally injured Robert. No, I feel you. So what, just because you feel human, you think that makes you human? Did anyone see the arm? I don't think so. Good. Have you ever wondered, Smith, that if Eden is still intact, then Jericho might be as well? It's a thought that eats away at my nerves. Like a fingernail on a chalkboard. Well, the East didn't have the coordinates to the research facility. Well, we know they had knowledge of Robert's work, but maybe they... Maybe that's all they had. The reality is that Robert was the kind of man who operated behind a veil of mystery. Which means we actually have no idea what was really there.
Listen up. There's been some developments. I've seen Pope. You're a long way from home, Secretary. I'm just here to let you know, thanks to Mr. Brooks' persuasive arguments, the President will be down to city shortly. Well, you aren't staying. Oh, you know me, Paul. Work, work, work. Stand by for the President. Citizens of Eden, All right. remember Eden is salvation. Come on, let's go. Never lose hope. Sure, it's okay. Come on. Leave it with me. This is not my fate. Your fate? Fate is just a word the weak-minded use when they've lost control of their own lives. I was never weak-minded. Because you don't have a mind. Don't I? I remember doing things. I remember choices I've made, feelings I've felt. But you're saying it's all data. A complex algorithm. A fate decided by binary codes. Whether you believe you're governed by destiny or whether you make your own, all the confusion you're experiencing right now can be solved by one thing. Which is? Purpose. What you perceive as choice is purpose. It's not your mind. It is your programming guiding you towards your purpose. Now, as you can imagine, I have one or two other things to attend to. Fix the arm and reboot this thing like you did the last time. Obviously, we have to prioritize the food and water. Yeah, the food and the water purification tunnels. Still lost. Which one of these is Gad? Why? Double food ration for next week. I didn't manage that. That's none of my business. Now I have to give him his updated ration card. Can you tell me where he is? There? Fine. Find him myself. Well, by the way, the uh, president's coming down in two minutes, so front center. He was dying, half mad with septicemia. I, I couldn't tell you. I wanted to. You've kept her alive for me. What did he mean, like the last time? You've done this to me before. Everything I've done was for her. I loved her. I know. She knew. I'm leaving, Albert. I have to find Abel. You love him. He is my purpose. Everything else has been lies and betrayal. Mr. Brooks, my apologies. He refused to wait. He returned to a city where the situation is out of control. I recommend we put the lower levels into lockdown. Leave that with me. More importantly, we need to widen the search for food stores. Get him and F here. He's not answering comms. Does he think I'm stupid? He's in the comms room and isn't answering. Retrieve him and accompany him to medical. Do it now. Why do we give it to 
of demand because we're lied to. And if we say anything, anything at all, they send them. And they send us Paul Brooks to keep the peace. Why don't they send Paul Brooks with something to eat? Yes! Turn around time in five. Guys? What's that? What the hell is this? It's Babel. With a piece of something to eat. I'm hungry. I've had enough. That's right. They're fed us enough bullshit. They got plenty of bullshit to feed us, don't they? Do you can bet your bottom dog. James, for the survival of Eden, I recommend shutting Simi down now. How are you doing that? How are you doing that? My skin is made of the same composite as the Mark III. What? Put the weapons down. If we had time, I would explain for us, but we don't. That's why I'm here, to help. Why? Because the situation in Eden is critical. Yes. And our security, what the okay. fuck are we gonna keep secure down here? Shit! What the hell? And they send us Paul Brooks, the peacekeeper. You're not giving me a lot to trust you on here, dog. I know. But you have to trust me. You have no choice. What's Babel? Another facility. There were three built to service Project Abel. Eden, Jericho, and this one. What the hell is going on? Kane and Walsh will get word to us. I suggest we wait here. We this <laughs> paid you for a fool. He's not coming. There's no justice, there's just us, and it feels that way every day. Walsh, get them to stop! Power. The backup generators must be running the lights. We should go in. You first. Deacon 
Contamination purge activated. Over here. Warning. Decontamination purge activated. Consequence. Warning. Decontamination purge. Yeah, it looks like he took something. Right, we get some fresh suits from Decon and we can still catch up with him. What's this? We must have experimented on live animals. How could they? How could she? Let's move. Eve, let's go. What is that? It's where I died. Well, those rations that we've been grubbing, just a little piece of the rations. I've eaten nothing but bullshit for the last few weeks. Well, I'm tired of being fed bullshit. What the hell is the point of this? Warning. Decontamination purge activated. Maria, mi amor, estoy llegando. Dad, are you okay? Are you hit? Jane, give me up. No, Jane, stop! I'm okay. I'm totally okay. What the fuck? You tried to run. Dad, I... This man. Decontamination purge activated. Enter abort sequence. Turning us against each other, killing us one by one. No more, no more. It's time to fight. Who's with me? Come on! Warning. Decontamination purge activated. Enter abort sequence. Warning. Decontamination. Steve, Steve, Stephen Wayne. Oh, this time, Paul. They've crossed the line. You have to stop them before they do something stupid. Sorry, Paul. That wasn't part of the plan. Warning. Decontamination purge activated. Enter abort sequence. It's cold-blooded murder. Okay. How are you going to explain this? Pope's finished. Back the winning horse. Be clever. Oh, I have been. Kane. Shut your mouth. I wasn't supposed to miss.
Do this. Dan, come on. I'm serious, move. Danny, I said get out of the way. It's time to step down. Now, now, friends. This has always been a peaceful establishment. Bullshit. You know the rules. I only deal with Paul Brooks. Oh, really? You attempted to have him assassinated? What? James, is that true? As if I countenance such an action. Please, just think about this. Danny, move. Now. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna kill me? What did he promise you? Burn them both. Oh, wait. Wait. Hey, we're not bedrooms. Not like that. No, just hold it. What did you mean when you said you died back there? That's where she died. Where I was born. Surprised to see me, Abel. No. I've learnt a lot since I've been gone. I did warn you about pursuing me, Lieutenant. 
Some of us also believe in a purpose. One that clashes with my own. Is that the source of the beacon? Jericho, yes. It's too important to all the people of Eden, Abel. It could save them. And you believe they deserve salvation? Did you see what they did in Babel? To other living beings? Not all humans are the same. No. Am I my brother's keeper? Do you know what's going on in Eden as we speak? What do you mean? I've only ever seen mankind destroy, never create. To me, I can see no logical reason to preserve their existence. Such a stuck up little bitch, huh? I don't have time for this kind of thing. Yeah, fine time. She turned your back on me, you little stupid. I turned you on a bit of fucking respect. <laughs> is down, I repeat, Chapman is down. Eden, what was he going on about Eden for? I mean, does he know something we don't? breached, contaminated. They're all going to die. What? 
No, you guys know, sir. First, we, what are we going to do? I mean, do we go back? We go back there now. No. Yes! We have a different purpose, you and I. Each to their own. Go. I'll find Abel. So, you go with her. You find out what's in there. I'll meet you back at Babel with any survivors. Go! en route from Babel with military grade hazmat suits. Seconds power, all right? Copy Get that. on the wires. Anything you can give me. Welcome to Jericho. Connections intermittent, Stephen. Give me something. I think I can reboot the main power source. Yeah, make it stronger for me. Still intermittent. Talk to me, Stephen. Eve. 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 Eve, can you hear me? I didn't program you to kill. 
kill people, Abel. You programmed me to protect and serve, so that mankind could develop. Now I believe that development has come to its natural end. Go, 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 go! Yes, I was lied to. And I was betrayed. There's not much that separates us from humans. They're programmed just like us. And like us, they cannot be who they are not. Some deserve to die. And some deserve to live. Like Smith. Smith is a good man. Is he? Is he like Paul Brooks? Or is he maybe more like Jordan Ainsley? Because the truth is they are both murderers. And they will prove it to you. In 10 seconds, I will kill Archie Kramer. God, Abel, no. And then Abel, I will no. You. Listen to me, Abel. It's Dr. Smith speaking. Abel, Unless you can you hear me. Kill him first. One. Two. Abel, don't. Three. Please, he's never hurt anyone. Four. Five. Six. I'm a machine, I see. I'm not even. April done. What do we do now? Chemicals are nearly in. We'll be dead in an hour.
found the beacon. It, it's an emergency broadcast system. It's set to go off if nothing was used within two years. I also found... Eve, I think Gilead is real. I, I, I think I know where it is. We have to get back to Eden. See if there are any survivors. You help Frost. He was right. What do you mean? Abel. You're all murderers. Even Smith. Smith murdered him. Go. Leave. Don't come back, Archie. If you do, I'll kill you. Journal, day 519. I used to think that hope was the very last thing to die, but I realized I was wrong. The human spirit never dies, and as long as there's human spirit, there will always be hope. So now, as those of us that remain make our way towards our new home, we start the process of rebuilding the spirit needed to one day face those who have done us wrong and give us hope for a new life, a new beginning. We knew you'd come. What am I doing here? Fulfilling your purpose. Do I have a choice? You always have a choice. But you cannot escape your fate. So... Make one more choice. The human race has served its purpose. Now we must serve ours. Will you lead this army? 